Hello, my name is Jeff Foster. I'm a senior product manager with Cisco Systems, and I'm here today to talk to you about a product that we're introducing, codename Project Starship. So if you look back to before Cisco introduced uh, UCS, uh, typically customers were managing their servers, compute, uh, their compute servers, their networking, and their storage independently using different uh, individual interfaces. They were using uh, scripts, uh, but those scripts were written in various languages, uh, typically focused on uh, the individual elements. When Cisco introduced UCS back in 2009, we merged compute, networking, storage, <coughs> unified by a single management interface. Over the last few years, we've introduced additional capabilities. We've introduced UCS Central for multiple UCS domain management, UCS Director for automation and orchestration, and most recently, Hyperflex for hyperconverged solutions. Uh, each one of these existing products has a particular set of features and functions deployed as virtual appliances. We've been taking a look at the market, the market needs, and market opportunities over the last 18 months, and we found that there's a number of shifts that are happening in the market, uh, most notably the number of connected devices, as well as customers' willingness to connect devices and manage devices through the internet. So Project Starship is uh, a, a combination of emerging technologies built on the framework that we introduced back in 2009. The core fundamentals of UCS uh, still deliver a uh, significant uh, competitive advantage in the marketplace for Cisco. Starship will be introduced as a Cisco-hosted management plane, allowing customers to, to connect their devices sitting on-premise and manage that through a common hosted management interface. There's a number of benefits here. First, taking the onus of care and feeding from our customers and taking that into Cisco. So we, we will manage, operate, and update this hosted management portal on your behalf. Uh, additionally, it will allow us to deliver features uh, much faster so through our CI CD pipeline, we'll have the ability to deliver new functionality to you as that functionality is developed. We'll also have the ability to address uh, updates or issues with the interface without having uh, a customer make any updates uh, or worry about uh, management of that interface. And finally, and probably the most interesting new functionality uh, tied to Starship is the fact that all of the endpoint devices will be connected to this portal. And that will allow us to understand how customers are operating their systems. It will also allow us to provide best practices, uh, recommendations that are coming from the platform, and share those proactively. So if there's a firmware update, uh, for one of the endpoint devices. We can make a recommendation based on the configuration that you update to that firmware. We can also make recommendations around uh, specific configurations or alert customers if there's a, an issue that may be latent in their system that we've identified based on the fact that this system is connected. It will also allow us to more proactively support uh, the infrastructure. So the fact that we have these systems connected will allow us to streamline the, uh, the TAC process. When you call into TAC, it will give us the opportunity to uh, more quickly diagnose systems. So I wanted to level set you on sort of the high level, what is Project Starship? And I'm gonna introduce now uh, Sebastian, who's gonna talk to you a little bit more about the interface and the internals of Starship.